Have you ever wondered why huge trucks, buses, and trains don't use the same brakes as your car? Why do they rely on air, of all things, to stop something weighing 40 tons? Sounds risky, right? What if the air leaks? What if pressure drops when going downhill at high speed? Wouldn't that make braking more dangerous? But here's the surprising truth. Air brakes aren't a weakness. They're the strongest, safest braking system ever designed for heavy machines. And the story behind their invention is filled with accidents, engineering breakthroughs, and one genius who solved a deadly problem that was costing hundreds of lives. Let's start with a simple question. Why don't big trucks just use the same hydraulic brakes that cars use? Well, imagine stopping something that weighs 20 to 40 times more than a car. Cars are light enough that hydraulic brakes work perfectly, but trucks? They're monsters on the road. Hydraulic brakes simply can't create enough stopping force for that much mass. And weight isn't the only problem. There's heat. When a truck goes downhill, the brakes stay engaged for a long time. That constant friction produces intense heat. So much heat that hydraulic fluid can actually boil. And once the fluid boils, pressure disappears instantly, meaning total brake failure. So engineers needed something smarter. A system that didn't rely on fluid, couldn't boil, and was powerful enough for huge loads. That solution turned out to be air. So who came up with the idea of using air for braking? It all goes back to a brilliant inventor named George Westinghouse in the late 1800s. Back then, trains had a terrifying problem. Each train car had its own hand-operated brake. Workers had to climb on top of moving trains, pull levers, and hope they didn't fall. Accidents were constant. Westinghouse thought, why don't we have one system that applies brakes on every car at the same time using something that never runs out? And that something was air. His air brake revolutionized railroads. By 1872, trains across the U.S. were using it, saving thousands of lives. Decades later, engineers adapted this exact idea for trucks and buses, and it worked perfectly. Now here's the fun part, how the system actually works. Air brakes are clever because they're fail-safe. They do the opposite of what hydraulic brakes do. In your car, if you lose brake fluid, the brakes stop working. But in a truck, if air pressure drops, the brakes automatically activate to keep the truck from rolling away. So instead of relying on pressure to apply brakes, air brakes rely on pressure to release them. Lose air, the brakes clamp down tight. Here's the simple flow. The truck has an air compressor. It fills large tanks with high-pressure air. When the driver presses the pedal, the system uses this air to apply brake force. And if pressure ever becomes too low, strong springs jump into action and stop the truck. It's like having a guardian system constantly watching the vehicle. And of course, trucks need something this powerful because their challenges are extreme. They carry massive loads. They travel long distances. They climb and descend steep hills. Their brakes face constant heat. Air brakes don't care. Air can't burn, boil, or run out. And thanks to the compressor, the tanks keep refilling, giving trucks unlimited braking power as long as the engine is running. That's something hydraulic brakes can't compete with. And here's something everyone has heard about, but never really thought about. That loud pshhh sound trucks make. That's just the system releasing pressure as part of its normal operation. It's the sound of safety at work. Inside the cabin, you'll also notice those big red and yellow knobs. Those control the parking brakes. And surprisingly, they don't use air to apply the brakes. They use massive springs. Air actually holds the brakes back. 
So when the truck is parked and air pressure fades overnight, the springs push the brakes on automatically. That's why trucks don't roll away even if they lose pressure while parked. With all the advancements in vehicle technology, you'd think someone would have invented something better by now. But the truth is, nothing beats air brakes. They're fail-safe, extremely powerful, heat-tolerant, easy to maintain, and trusted for more than a hundred years. Air brakes aren't an old idea. They're a perfect solution to a massive problem, literally. So next time you hear that loud burst of air from a truck, remember, it's not noise. It's the sound of a brilliant invention keeping thousands of drivers safe every day. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the hidden history of everyday things, make sure to subscribe for more Simple Things Surprising Histories.